Have you ever wanted to build your own video game? In this video, you will build a charged bolt animation that you can use in a role-playing game. Let's get started and pick a background. I'll use this castle too that's built into Scratch. We'll also need a sprite. I'll pick this wizard. Change the size so that it matches the scale of the background. Then, move him to the left side of the screen for now. Since the wizard is kind of dark and hard to see, add a set brightness effect block into your code. I think 20 makes him look a little bit more visible. Now, Add a sprite for the lightning bolt. We'll only need one. We will be using clones for the other copies. Set the size of the lightning bolt to match the wizard, and move it somewhere near the wizard. In the lightning script, add a when I start as a clone block. Add a repeat block with a count. We will move the lightning bolt forward in this loop and repeat for a while and then delete it so that it does not last forever. Add a move block into the loop. To make the movement of the lightning bolt a bit more interesting, add a turn block after the move block. We will turn a random amount every time through the loop. Add a pick random block and pick some values. I'm trying minus five and five, but you can play around with these later to make different effects. After the repeat loop finishes, add delete this clone. To test this, add a create clone of myself and click on it a few times. You can see that the lightning bolt copies itself and moves to the right. Let's go to the costume tab of the lightning bolt to rotate it so that it points forward. Select the entire bolt, then use the rotation handle to turn it to point right. Next, we'll create the chain effect. Add an if block. Add a pick random block, and add a greater than block. We'll say that if the random number that gets picked is greater than six, we'll clone ourselves. And we'll test this every time through the repeat loop so that each clone might create a different number of clones of itself. Drag a new copy of create a clone of myself into the code area so that you can click it to test. As you can see, many lightning bolts have appeared, but Scratch actually freezes. You can't even press the red stop button. Pause the video here and try to figure out what happened. If you think you know, go ahead and leave a comment with your idea. Do you think you figured it out? Depending on which numbers we pick, we can either have code that makes more and more lightning bolts get created, or code that makes the bolts dwindle down to zero. If you think you know how to figure out which values will cause Scratch to freeze and which ones will be safe, leave a comment with your idea. Let's have each lightning bolt keep track of which generation it is. Create a variable for this sprite only called clone generation. The original sprite will have a clone generation zero, then each time a new clone is created, it will add one to its clone generation. So the original clones will be Generation 1, the clones of Generation 1 will be Generation 2, etc. To do that, add the when flag click block and set clone generation to 0. Then, add a change clone generation block to the when I start as a clone event. We'll have clones that are of a high enough generation just immediately delete themselves so that the effect eventually stops. Add an if block. Make it say if clone generation greater than some value delete this clone.
and add that to the When I Start as a Clone event. You can adjust the number to create different effects. You can click the Create Clone of Myself block to test it out. Scratch doesn't freeze anymore. You can try other things like making the distance each clone moves per loop a random number. Once you have numbers that look good to you, set the original lightning bolt to hide when the green flag is clicked and set it to show when it starts as a clone. You can adjust where the original lightning bolt appears to make it seem as though it is coming out of the wizard's hand. Go back to the wizard's code and add a next costume block. Running this block will animate the wizard to make it look like he is throwing a lightning bolt spell. Since there are three costumes, add a repeat three block and put the next costume block inside of that loop. You can make this happen when the flag is clicked as is shown here. To make the charged bolt effect actually happen, add a create clone of lightning block. You can also set this code to run when the wizard is clicked by adding a when this sprite is clicked block. You will probably want to add a wait block to slow down the animation. You can also add a point in direction to the original lightning bolt sprite when flag is clicked. This will make sure that the spell is pointed in the right direction. There you have it. Play around with the different numbers in your code and see what kinds of effects you can make. If you create a project that you want to share, post the URL of your Scratch project in the comments. And if you like this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe.